I went to college, I uh, had a heartbreak. It was when I moved to Missouri is when I decided that I was never gonna go to church again. I decided that I didn't want anything to do with religion anymore. I said, Jesus, I'm not turning my back on you. I just hate Christians and I don't want anything to do with church. And I wanna find my, my identity in the world. The homosexuality, being in, that, being in the community whenever I was in it, and I'm speaking for myself, my, what, what I went through. It led me to alcohol because I loved going to the bars. At first it was fun and everything, but that's when, that's when the devil, you know, traps me. Um, I just was so, was so ashamed of who I was. It got to where alcohol was just not good enough. Uh, the more I started feeling, the more the guilt I was feeling, the, the alcohol wasn't, was, wasn't strong enough. And um, as I was drinking too, bad things were happening. I have had numerous sexual assaults, being passed out, drunk. Ended up starting, I started, just started drugs, started pills. Uh, I started looking from Xanax, uh, all the, uh, led to cocaine, it led to, to meth, so eventually it led to heroin. So there was one night, and it was uh, in, back in March in 2017, and I was with who I thought was, that was my friend, it was drug buddy. All of a sudden I was woken up with water splashing on my face. I, had, I guess apparently I was on the, on the kitchen floor. I, I woke up with her, with her throwing water on me and after the, you know, she was slapping me and I woke up and I just remember her like, you're blue, you're blue, you know? And I was like, oh my gosh, you know? And she was like, you have to get out of here, get out of here. And so I said, I said, I need an ambulance. No, you gotta get out of here. So her and a friend tried to, to drag me down the street and I said, I won't go. And I was trying to fight until you call an ambulance, I won't go. And then I made sure that someone was on the phone with the ambulance. And then as they dragged my body down the worst street in Springfield, Missouri, they dumped my body like I was a bag of trash. Then they stripped me of everything that they wanted off of my body. It was them that I cried out and I said, Jesus, help me. And then all of a sudden, like, I closed my eyes. And it was like the dark, like, all of a sudden I closed my eyes. All of a sudden my eyes got, like, really dark. It just, like, blacker than anything we've ever seen on Earth. All of a sudden I felt like I was just falling. And I, I felt a little, I felt like a little bit of a chill. Like a little bit of chill. And I don't, I, and I was falling. I felt so fearful. It was so black, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. The worst panic attack that I've ever had on earth, I would times it by a billion, and it's constant. It's constant. You know that you're never, ever, 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 ever gonna get out. You are stuck. I looked up and I saw black gates, which looked like they had been like on fire. So they were like a charcoal and they were so, oh, the evil, oh, the evil. It's so hard to talk about. And not having the presence of God, you know, we have the presence of, even if you don't have God in your life, you know, even if you don't even believe in God, at least we have him on earth, you know, you, when it's such so different when you're, when you're, you know, you're there. It was, it looked like it was just so big and it was decrepit and, and like each, each end, like, it would go like that, and each end would have spikes. It was like, I didn't have to move my head to look. When I was down there, my soul felt so much more sensitive. And it was from there that um, I looked through, it was like I could, I didn't walk towards the gates. It was, but I could see through the gates. It was like a lake, it was like a lake of fire, but it was like a, it was like a big pit a big, huge pit of, of love like fire. However, it was like, I couldn't see the flames. I just saw the shimmering light because the shimmering light looked as if like the pit was so deep that you, you couldn't see the flames. It was just, I had no idea how, how, deep, the, how deep it would be. Yeah, even if you, you don't even believe in God, you'll, your soul will know. Your, your soul will know that you're, you're in hell. And I was in hell. It was then I started looking, I started looking down 
because I, I was stuck. I, I was thought I felt like I was in quicksand. So I started looking around and I, I started noticing like, it was like waves of like, uh, like clay. It was like pink, like a salmon colored clay. I felt like I was in like the core of the earth or something because I felt like I, there was just absolutely no way you could get out. That's when all of a sudden I said, I wish I would have listened. And all of a sudden my body set on fire. My soul set on fire. And um, when my soul set on fire, it was so much hotter because I used to have I used to have problems like cutting and burning myself because I hate myself. I know like I know burns and stuff, and there is nothing like your soul being on fire. It hurts so bad. Like you're just it's it's not you can't even explain it. That's the whole reason why I'm trying to tell this the world. <laughs> is because there is no truly hell and it's so horrible and I don't want anyone to go if you don't believe in God oh please ask Jesus into your heart and save you if you do know God Oh, repent right now. Ask for forgiveness. You never know when you're going to die. You never know when Jesus is going to come. You never know. And it was then that it got hotter and hotter and hotter. And I, I like, my teeth were just gnashing. They were gnashing. And I could feel like my teeth just breaking over and over. And your, your jaw's locked and you're screaming in your mind. There's no water. There's no water. You're, you feel, you feel as if your mouth is dry or your soul's dry. Your soul's so dry. If only I just had a drop of water. If only I just have a drop of water on my tongue, I would feel some kind of relief. It was then that all of a sudden the scre the screaming continued. It's just constant crying, constant misery. You think about it, the time you cry, like the worst pain you've ever felt in your heart, like like emotional pain. You're crying and heaving a billion times worse. When I say a billion times worse, I really mean it's a billion times worse than any negative thing. Every negative thing you've ever felt in your whole life, you will feel it feel in hell. And you will feel it a billion times and you will feel it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. As I was screaming, as I was gnashing my teeth, as I was wishing, you know, the fear, the hopelessness, everything, all of a sudden I was just like, Jesus, 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 help me, Jesus, Jesus, save me. As I cried out to Jesus, immediately I was ripped from those flames and all of a sudden I was in an ambulance, like still felt on fire. And I was screaming in the ambulance. I looked and I saw a, a, a paramedic. Didn't really know where I was at or what was going on. I was very confused, but I saw the kindness in her eyes and realized all of a sudden like, wait a minute, I'm not in hell anymore.